As someone who grew up in the 90s wearing scrunchies, it's fun to see them coming back into style. Whether it's a trend you're willing to embrace or you just want to make them as a gift, they are a quick and easy sewing project. They are perfect for scraps and they can be made to coordinate with other handmade garments. In this tutorial, I will show you how to take your scraps and turn them into a scrunchie that's fun and useful. Let's get started. All right, before we get started, let's go over some of the supplies we will need. First, you're going to need fabric scraps or fabric yardage, whichever. I'm gonna be using fabric scraps because I have so many of them and I might like to have some things that coordinate with uh, some other garments that I've made. Uh, this is a stretch velvet knit. This is nice lightweight knit and I think it's kind of dressy and fun and perfect for the holidays. And so knits are perfect for this project, but just make sure that they're a lighter weight knit. You don't want to pick something like a ponte knit or a double knit, something kind of heavy, because it won't scrunch up the way that, um, you know, a normal scrunchie would. You could also use round chalets. They're a nice drapey fabric. And um, again, lightweight. That lightweightness is what's going to help give you that scrunchy look. Uh, and then this is a fun rib knit. It's a nice lightweight rib knit. Um, I believe it's a round lycra, so it has stretch to it. So having stretch doesn't really change the overall um, scrunchy. You can use knits or wovens. The key is just making sure that you have a nice lightweight fabric. You will also need elastic that you coordinate with your fabric. So um, obviously the white you would use with lighter fabrics and the black with darker. You'll need some coordinating thread, scissors, and or a rotary cutter. The scissors, you could also have little snips for cutting your threads. Wonder tape. This is a surprising little tool, but um, you'll see later on where we use it. And wonder tape is really helpful for sticking two pieces of fabric together. And then pins. And then something called a fast turn. I have a whole package of fast turn tools in different sizes and diameters. This is helpful for turning tubes around. And then we have this ruler. That will be to measure your strips and get all of the fabric strips ready for sewing. All right, so I'm going to be sewing my scrunchie out of this cool stretch velvet. It's the Burnout Stretch Velvet Knit. So we're gonna be taking some measurements. I wanna have a width of four inches by a length of approximately 22 or 24 inches. So I'm gonna take my ruler and mark at four inches. And because I have a um, gridded mat, I'm going to just eyeball it going up four inches across. I am going to be including my selvage. Now this is a personal choice. This might not be the case for your fabric, but again, I'm working with scraps and I don't mind this selvage. It's not going to help or hurt the end design, so I'm keeping it. There we have it. I did a pretty good job of eyeballing that. Now, again, you didn't have to eyeball it. You could just take some marking pencils and mark your fabric to that four inch mark. Then we're gonna do the length. So over here, I have a little bit of um, uneven edges. So I'm just gonna make that even and start my measuring. This ruler is 18 inches. So I'm going to take 18 inches and put my finger here to mark the rest of it and then kind of come over so that you can see. I want to get in that 22 to 24 inch mark. So 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Well, I have 23 inches that I'm working with here, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to just straighten that out a little bit at the edge. Whoops. Okay, have that straightened up, and now we're going to cut our elastic. Because this is a burnout fabric and you can kind of see through it, I definitely want to make sure that I have this black elastic. So you want the elastic to be approximately six, six and a half or seven inches. I'm going to go with six inches. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna head over to the sewing machine. All right, I'm going to be sewing my strip lengthwise. So I have it right sides together with the lengthwise edges meeting, and I'm going to be sewing down that, that edge. Now, uh, because of the way that I'm putting this scrunchie together, I'm going to be starting approximately two or three inches away from the raw edge. So I'm going to just come down here to where my finger is, and you'll see why later. I'm just trying to make this like a really nice professional looking scrunchie. I know it's, you know, it's in your hair and it really doesn't quite matter, but I always like to achieve a nice professional look. So I'm going to have a 2.5 uh, stitching length. Um, that's my regular standard here on my sewing machine. And we're gonna get started. Make a couple stitches and then back stitch a couple. And then stitch all the way lengthwise, making sure that your raw edges are even. You could have pins in here, um, especially if you have a tricky fabric like this really drapey and kind of flowy, but the velvet that I'm using is kind of sticking to itself, so I'm not really needing to use any pins. And the seam allowance that I'm using is uh, just a 3 8 You could do a, up to a quarter of an inch uh, or all the way up to a half of an inch, but um, I'm just doing the 3 8 of an inch because that's the width of my um, presser. I'm coming up to that two to three inch mark, so I'm going to back stitch at that. And again, I'm just kind of eyeballing that. So coming out. All right, here is my fast turn tool. As I mentioned earlier, they come in different sizes and diameters. Here you can see the different diameters. Anything as small as like a spaghetti strap could be used for this, and then all kinds of other sizes. I'm going to be choosing the widest of them. And then you always wanna make sure that you have one of these little hook apparatuses to go along with it. First, I'm going to take my tube of fabric and fish it onto my tube. Then I'm going to take the little metal piece and put it up through the middle and then have just a couple, like, like a half of an inch or so of fabric sticking up over the top and feel for the little hook and twist it as you push it up. This is going to help hold onto the fabric as I push pull it through. So I'm pulling on the fabric now with a little metal piece. And how easy was that? I have my nice, nicely turned tube. You just undo the hook from that and now I have the nicely turned tube. Let's get back over to the sewing machine and finish up this scrunchie. Okay, we have the tube here, and remember that opening that we left on each side? We're going to take those right sides together and pin them. I'm just starting at the edges first. and pinning and then pulling it so that I can get the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna sew this down and backstitch at the beginning and then I'll also backstitch at the end. I'm just using the 3 8 seam allowance because that's the width of my presser foot. The end here, I'm going to back stitch again. Clip my threads. Okay, so there we have it. Now we have our tube all finished. Uh, we're just going to be inserting the elastic and then we're almost done. So here's my elastic. Um, I forgot to mention earlier that you're going to need two safety pins. The first safety pin is going to go on the end of the elastic, just like that, and attach it. And then the other one is going to go on the elastic, just through once, and then I'm going to attach it to the fabric too. And this is just going to help keep the elastic from getting uh, tangled in the inside. You're not gonna get it lost. 
So we're gonna fish the safety pin through my tube. All right. So um, as a sewist, I'm sure a lot of you are aware of making sure that your elastic is not twirled around inside the tube. We don't have to worry about that this time. We are going to be just sewing it together and not worrying about if it's twisted in there because it's a scrunchie. Who cares? It's not going to make or break your project. This is where the Wonder Tape comes in. So I'm just going to take a little piece of the Wonder Tape like half an inch and I am going to place it on one side of the elastic and then peel off the little paper on top. Sometimes this can be tricky. There. All right so that's my wonder tape. That's the sticky side and I'm going to take the other end of the elastic and place it over top and that's going to keep it nice and even and together while I stitch through it. I'm going to be using the zigzag stitch to um, put this together. You just want to choose a zigzag that's about the width of your elastic. I'm using a 1.5 length and a 3.6 width, and that's just what is normal on my sewing machine. So I've got that all attached and just clipping my threads. And we are so close to being done. We have a scrunchie. It's getting there. I'm going to switch my sewing machine back to the straight stitch and try to find that hole. Might be a little tricky. And you want to make sure that your raw edges are rolled under. And pin. We want to close up that hole. Again, just making sure that I'm rolling it under and pinning. Rolling again, and pinning. All right, and I got that straight stitch selected on my sewing machine. I'm gonna come forward and back stitch at the beginning and then also at the end. And I'm gonna hold on and pull on the fabric so that I have a nice straight line. threads. And there we have it. We have our fun scrunchie. How awesome is that? Now you can um, push the scrunch around a little bit, but I think it's really professional and I really like this uh, way of making the scrunchies versus some of the other uh, tutorials that might be out there. So I hope you'll give it a try.